What's up guys, this is Sebastian Jabasi, and I'm here with episode 6 in my Machine 101 tutorial series. Um, this tutorial is going to be based around the step sequencer in Machine, um, so let's just go ahead and jump into it. Um, right here, I have six samples from my uh, my signature drum kits. Um, one of them, uh, five of them, sorry, are from my 2013 kits which are kind of like Mike Will slash Lex Luger slash Young Chop um, kits um, and one of them is from my hip hop kit so um, basically I'm just going to make a beat with the step sequencer when I'm making a beat um, I don't really when I'm making a beat with step sequencer I don't really use the metronome I really use my hi-hats as my metronome so right now I'm going to I went to step sequencer mode um, I'm going to increase the length of this pattern to four bars and I'm going to go ahead and start with the, the hi-hat. So I'm going to go ahead and put them, I'm going to alternate every other pad, every other step. And I'm going to go ahead and play it. And I'm going to go ahead and go down. And I'm going to add this. Cool. I like that. And I'm going to add the snare. I'm gonna add this sound. Um, so what I'm gonna do for this sound is I don't want it to be that loud. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to half velocity. Velocity. Um, what I can, what you can basically do is you can go to velocity and you can like basically change the number that it's at. But for this, I'm gonna go to half velocity and I'm gonna go ahead and put it down for every single sixteenth note. Lay it down for all of them. And you're going to hear how that sounds. It's more like a filler sound. I'm going to go to my, my kick drums. So basically what I want to do with the kick drum, with the 808 I mean, I don't want it to, I don't want it to overlap each other. I want it to cut it itself off. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go into um, modules, I'm going to go to sound modules, and that's going to open the sampler, the, the basic sound sampler. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn um, polyphony, polyphony, whatever you want to call it, down to one, because I only want it to play one time. You want, I, want to, I only want to hear it one time. I don't want it to overlap, so I don't want it to, um, yeah, I don't want it to overlap, so let's go ahead and continue making this beat. The only problem with this is there, I program them at, program them at half velocity, I want them at full velocity, so I'm going to go ahead and reprogram them, but I know where I placed them the first time, so I'm going to go ahead and... Have a lower kick right here. 
Um, what I'm going to go is I'm going to go ahead and change the bass key until I, uh, I'm going to play A2. I think that's the one I, I, I usually do with the C. Um, go ahead and listen to this. basically how I, I, I use the step sequencer obviously we could take it a step further and add effects and um, you know mix and pan and stuff like that but um, that's basically the, the overview of how I use the step sequencer so uh, I'm just gonna play it again machine and the step sequencer um, this is a really good alternative to fruity loops since you can't have fruity loops on um, your Mac and since machine is such a great you know uh, gives it such a great sound you can use this in place of fruity loops um, so um, that does it for this tutorial um, definitely check out the other ones comment rate subscribe um, thank you for thank you for watching guys